Is terraforming Mars a dream? It's an engineering challenge on a planetary scale, and we already know the leading strategies for how to start. The first approach is simple in concept, brutal in execution. Thicken the Martian atmosphere. Mars is cold because it has almost no air, so we'd release powerful greenhouse gases like CO2, methane, or even engineered super greenhouse compounds. If enough of them accumulate, Mars warms, ice melts, water flows, and the planet slowly shifts toward habitability. A second method, orbital mirrors directing sunlight onto the surface. Last but not least, we could redirect icy asteroids or comets to impact Mars. Each strike releases enough energy and water, jump-starting thickening the atmosphere. The problem is atmospheric retention. Mars has weak gravity and no magnetic field. Even if we build an atmosphere, the sun slowly strips it away. So, a stable, Earth-like climate demands constant maintenance, or a man-made magnetic shield anchored in Mars' sun orbit. All of this takes staggering amounts of energy and infrastructure. Terraforming Mars isn't a project for one day. It's a multi-generational engineering commitment requiring more resources than humanity has ever marshaled for any single goal. That's why many scientists argue for a more realistic first step, paraterraforming. Instead of transforming the entire planet, we build massive sealed habitats, domes, cavern cities, or even planet-wide enclosed valleys, where we control climate, pressure, and oxygen internally. It's achievable and scalable with near-future technology, 